Hello again and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got an unboxing video and a review for one of my most anticipated titles of the year to date. This is the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray edition of Dune, David Lynch's Dune by Arrow Video. Uh, just arrived today so I'm going to do a quick unboxing video and then we'll get into the disc. So Let's get the tear holes. So this is the limited edition keep case edition. Um, the collector's version is on its way but hasn't arrived yet. I will do an unboxing video when that comes but the review will be based off the same disc. So I'll get that watched now. So it's a hard slip case, outer box, rigid slip case, slip box, uh, no emboss work or spot on the spine. Um, okay, so there's the keep case inside and a book. So let's have a look at the outside first. So it's a brand new 4K restoration from the original camera negative. Uh, it's then had a Dolby Vision and a HDR10 compatible grade. It's got the original uncompressed stereo track and a 5.1 DTS HD master audio track. So I'm really looking forward to this. Um, bonus disc at the bottom. So the TV version is missing here. Okay, just to point it out. So take off the J-slip. So there's a look at the back. Underneath the top and the front so we slide this out there's the keep case i won't say amari anymore because they seem to have been discontinued so we have the 4k disc which uh, has the High Flyers um, name on it. And the Blu-ray bonus disc. Not the movie, just the bonus disc. So we have some art cards here. And Battle Royale is the postcard, which we've already got in 4K. So... Okay, so they're all the same on the back. Okay, so the art card's pretty nice. We do have alternative artwork here. So there's the alternative. It's quite nice. Okay, so in here we have a poster. Which is dual sided. Okay, so moving on to the book. There's a look at the contents. So 
So we go to the back. So there's the information about the restoration. So the camera negative was scanned in 4K at Technicolor in Hollywood and it was graded in Stuttgart. Uh, restoration work was completed and supervised. Yeah. Okay, so the so the German separate release will probably have the same transfer um, if it was done by themselves. So it's not an arrow restoration. It's the German company that's done the restoration. Okay, and let's uh, have a quick flip through. Okay, so that is the unboxing. So just going to stop the video now and get the disc into the player. I'm going to check out the bitrate um, and have a look if we can get the metadata from this release. Okay. Okay, so just putting the 4K disc into the Pioneer LX800 player. Uh, and we'll check out the metadata and the bit rates. Okay, and again, um, the colours will not be correct because it's not been white balanced. The shots after this will be. So um, just go through the arrow intro. Okay, so we're at the main menu, so we just have a choice of play the film, special features and setup. So let's have a look at setup. So for the audio, 2.0 stereo and 5.1 and we have a commentary by Paul Salmon and Mike White. Okay, subtitles, uh, just English. Okay, special features. The audio commentaries, impressions of Dune, designing Dune, Dune FX, models and miniatures, costumes, deleted scenes, destination Dune, trailers and TV spots and image galleries. So let's go straight into the film then and we can check out the bitrate and the metadata. Okay, so it defaults to the stereo track. I will switch to the 5.1 just to have a look at the audio bit rate. Okay, so that's a bit on the low side. A uh, nice 100.7 megabytes a second video bitrate then. Uh, seems to be settling around uh, high 70s. Um, audio bitrate looks 16 bit. Um, that's not 24 bit bitrates. So a little bit of a disappointment. Okay, looking at the metadata, it's been mastered to a thousand nits, um, but no information on the max CLL and no average levels. Um, that information is being held from us. Okay, another 116.7 megabytes a second. Then. Okay, just going to skip a check, uh, skip a chapter. Okay, so we're getting a bit of information on the screen. 
settling about yeah high 70s and 80s um bit rate for the audio doesn't seem to be shooting up so it does suggest it's a uh, it's a 16 bit not 24 okay so going to take some screenshots now which will be white balanced and i'll put them at the end of this um, this video now uh, and talk through them well just finished the movie i've taken the shots and uh, put them in the video here um, it's been a long wait but it's been worth it it's been a very good transfer from arrow uh, the bit rate stayed very high high 70s uh, low 80s um yeah, quite impressive uh, video transfer. Um, good level of grain throughout the picture. Um, thought it looked really authentic looking. Um, yeah, very good colours. I thought the yellow uh, from the very start um, popped quite good. Uh, very good levels of um, black levels here. Very impressive. Um, looked uh, really impressive here on the um, on the Samsung uh neo qled um thought the levels were really spot on um yeah good levels of fine detail uh, as you can see in some of these photos um the suit there looks really good and as i said the gold backgrounds really pop um good skin tones i thought um yeah, HDR wasn't overblown. Uh, it was used in the backgrounds, in the lights. Um, yeah, quite subtle, but um, yeah, really impressive. Um, as you can see from these photographs now, um, good levels of detail in the suits and the faces and the backgrounds. A little bit of overblown HDR on that one, um, but that was the only instance I could see. That was a, uh, an amazing shot as well. Um, good detail in the background behind him um, very good transfer there's a good shot of the black details shining through and a bit of HDR being used for the lighting um, that's a very very good shot as well um, of Kyle McLaughlin um, yeah and the detail there on the hand um, but it's just very impressive transfer um, very pleased with it um, just a few more shots to go, so um, on this note I'll say thanks for watching, um, please like and comment below and subscribe for more, and I'll see you again soon for some more unboxing and video reviews. Many thanks, goodbye.